Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder with another Reddit story for you. This one comes from AITA and is titled, Am I the Astronaut for Ruining My Friend's Vacation? I love how people put the quotation marks in here now. I, female 38, just got back from a vacation with two of my longtime friends, Kate, female 40, and Mary, female 38. I've known both of them since university, and we've always been close. The three of us had been planning this Bali trip for a few months, along with our husbands and their kids. They both have children under five, while my husband Jake, male 45, and I are child-free. We agreed to split the cost of a four-bedroom villa three ways, and everything seemed fine at first. Jake and I arrived in Bali earlier than the rest of the group because we had different flights. Once we got to the villa, we waited to choose rooms with our friends and didn't mind when they both chose the ones with in-suites. En-suites? How do you say that? What's the bougie way to say that? Is it an en-suite or an in-suite? An old suite. Once we got to the villa, we waited to choose rooms with our friends and didn't mind when they both chose the ones with the en-suites. We had a great time during the trip. Jake and I did some couples activities, mess, uh, massages, hiking, and dinners, but we also spent time with Kate and Mary and their families whenever it worked for everyone. To be nice, I even surprised them with massages to give them a break. The only thing that made me uncomfortable was that whenever I ordered a drink, a cocktail before dinner, or a glass of wine with meals, I'd get comments like, oh, you're drinking again. For context, I'm a social drinker and don't drink often, but we're on vacation, and I didn't think it was a big deal, especially since our husbands were drinking too. I just ignored the comments so I could enjoy the trip. Oh, those are jealousy comments. 100% jealousy comments. Those are like, oh, you don't have kids, so you can drink whenever you want. F*** you, bitch. Oh, you're drinking again. On the last night, Jake and I made plans with the guys to go out, and Kate and Mary said that they were staying in to pack. Jake convinced me to join him, and since it was the last night of our vacation, I didn't want to stay in either. We went out and had a great time. We arrived home at 1 a.m., and I passed out straight after. The next morning was a bit chaotic with everyone packing and checking out, but we all made it back home without issue. We had booked business class seats back, so we were separated during the flight and said quick goodbyes at the airport. A week after returning home, I got a long text from Kate saying that both she and Mary wanted to reduce contact with me because I had ruined their vacation. They mentioned several things like my drinking every night, that I wasn't acting like a girl's girl, that I booked different flights, didn't hang out with them enough, and that I was selfish for not helping with their kids. <laughs> oh, the truth comes to the surface. She even said I was just focused on partying and not acting my age. This message really hurt me. I cried after reading it, and I honestly don't know what to think. I thought I was just enjoying my vacation, but clearly they had a very different view. I haven't responded yet, and my husband has been asking what's bothering me, but I don't know what to say. Am I the astronaut for how I acted during the trip? Nope. You are not. My initial guess was wrong here. Now, there weren't very many context clues for me to go on in the beginning either, but no, you are not the asshole here. You have to understand why they feel the way that they feel. Not that the way they feel is right. It's not. But it's easy to see how they can get there. They are so jealous of not being able to do what you're doing. And you not sacrificing your time to take care of their kids so they can do what you were doing. And a lot of people will take their kids on vacation where they know other people, specifically child-free people like grandparents or that kind of who aren't child-free, but, but young child-free they will, they will just assume that the plan is for them to show their kids off to the, the childless people and they go have a, a party great time. That's what they thought was going to happen. And instead of having a conversation with you and being like, hey, do you think that, that maybe you guys could watch our kids tonight and the parents could go do something just to have one break from the kids? And you probably would have been like, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, sure. Cool. Do your thing. And then this wouldn't have been an issue at all. None of this would have been an issue. If they had asked that one time and you had stayed in to watch their kids one night happily, none of this would be an issue at all. But instead, they decided to cowardly keep it to themselves, bicker between each other, and a week after their vacation is over, be like, we've been stewing about this for a long time. We've had several meetings. And here is where we are at. We are reducing contact with you because you had fun on vacation and we weren't able to. And we think that's your fault. Bye. Bye. I'm sorry. If the kind of friendship that we have is the kind of friendship where you blame me for everything that doesn't go right for you, there's a lot of risk in being your friend. Unless you live a perfect life. According to you. That's not very friendly. Candy Thunder here, which means those friends were just talking shit upon shit upon shit about this woman behind her back. Uh-huh. And the whole you're drinking again thing was just, I want to drink, but I can't. 
because I've got these little humans that I have to take care of. <laughs> Boo who. Number one, I mean, neither Candy, or Candy Thunder and I drink, so we're not like against it. We just don't. Um, I didn't even drink at the Chiefs game. Drank water. A lot of water. Uh, I did. I, I had some chocolate. Um, but... Like, you can have fun on vacation with your kids without drinking, number one. I'm sure the presence of it and having to see it hurt for them. Okay, let's talk about that too, right? So they wanted to do this thing so bad, and they couldn't because they had their kids. And normally, if they were on a vacation, that wouldn't be a big deal because they wouldn't be seeing it all the time and thinking about it. But you were having a great time and social drinking the thing they wanted to do, and they had to see it because it was right in front of their face. That's why they got so salty about it. Like, thanks for reminding us that we can't do fun things. Bitch, this is, none of this is your fault. Here's the edit. Edit! Thank you, Reddit, for your kind words and support. Reading through the responses and seeing how many of you are upset on my behalf has made me reflect on how I initially planned to handle things. I was going to apologize, thinking it might be the easiest way to keep the peace. But now I realize... That might not be the right approach after all. I also have shown my husband, Jake, time out. Thank you. One of the things I meant to say was show this conversation to your husband and tell him what's going on. Like you, there's no reason to fight this yourself. I also showed my husband, Jake, this post and the text message. He told me to thank you for looking out for me. He's actually pretty angry on my behalf about the text message. I showed him some of the comments that gave me insight on how my friends may have been feeling, which has given us both a lot to think about. He asked me what I wanted to do next and if I wanted him to answer my friends for me. While I appreciated the offer, I told him I'm still thinking it over. He reassured me that he's here for me no matter what, and if I decide I do want him to step in, he'd be ready to say something on my behalf. For now, I'm going to sleep on it and take some time before I respond or don't respond to the text message. If I do, I'll post an update. Again, thank you all for helping me see things a little bit more clearly. I feel less alone now. Okay, top comments here and uh, and and some more feedback down below, but let's just take a time out to applaud Redditors for giving this woman some validation and being like, yeah, no, you're not crazy. That's bullshit. So let's dive into comments here too. Hubby, green flag for you, brother. Thank you so much for, for being... <laughs> for being ready to ride at dawn for your lady here um, and recognizing when it's actual bullshit. And, and Candy Thunder and I were having this conversation earlier. I think when you have somebody that's really in your corner, that partner is also able to call you on your bullshit so that when something like this happens, you know, it's like, it's not somebody that just agrees with me every time. Like this is bullshit and they're ready to ride at dawn. Thank you. Uh, the Druish guy. Thanks for the love, man. Appreciate that. All right, let's dive into top comments here. Top comment, NTA. They're just jealous and expect you to lighten their childcare load. Just because they have kids doesn't mean if you go on holiday with them, you must stay and look after the children just because you're a woman. Oh, God. Did they just assume that's what's going to happen? Like you were supposed to jump in and volunteer without them asking? They need to tell this bull to their husbands as well because there sure is a double standard there. Partying? They must be joking. You go on holiday to enjoy things. Food, beverage, and experiences. Uh, really good point by this commenter. Their husbands. Their husbands went out and partied. Their husbands went out and partied. So it's your fault? Okay. Honestly, they're jealous because they feel they can't have a drink before dinner because of kids and responsibilities. And because of this, it makes them resent you for doing it. They're just expecting you to be grown up like them, even though that's a completely unrealistic expectation. They probably can't even admit it to themselves. They need a reality check, but they probably won't hear it from you. I'd say my piece as to why I disagree with what they've said and then just back right off the friendship. If they're good friends, they will try to make amends. If not, you're probably no longer compatible, which sucks, but you might be better off. OP, you are absolutely right. I was planning on apologizing, but I'm actually pretty hurt by what they said. I'm probably not going to do that now. Comment, good. They literally expected more from you than their husbands when it came to child care. They're mad at you for doing what their husbands did. The difference is that you don't have kids and their husbands do. So if anybody should have held back on drinking, it was their husbands. Their husbands should have shared the load, not you. Holy internalized misogyny. Them not even having a problem with your husband going out. And also the you're not a girl's girl comment was you went out and partied with the boys. Like, we are a united front. We are mothers. Stick with this together. But you're not a mom. You don't have to do those jobs. Again, if they had been upfront and clear in their communication and been like, hey, uh, what would you think about this? Would you be willing to do this? You probably would have been like, hell yeah. 
At the very least, even if you weren't willing to do it, you would have understood the context of what they were feeling. Instead, they said nothing, waited, and then cowardly, <laughs> cowardly sent you a text message to bitch slap you for having a good time because they felt like they couldn't. Shame on them. Shame on them for number one, feeling like they couldn't have a good time. If you, if you have to have booze and partying away from your kids to have fun, there's a problem. Everybody needs a break. Don't get me wrong. Everybody needs to let loose. Everybody needs a break. But it's on us as parents to plan that break. It's on us to ask other people and and coordinate that break. It's not other people to it's not on other people to jump in and volunteer to lighten our load so we can go have a good time. I'm sorry, the world doesn't give a shit. It doesn't work like that. You have to make take the effort to do it. You have to. You have thoughts on this candy thunder? Here she is, ladies and gents. I got called um told that I had internalized misogyny because I said that I don't like the games that women play. And and this is the game that I'm talking about not speaking up when there's a problem, taking out your frustration that should be directed at your husband onto another friend. Like your husband is the one you chose to have a kid with, not this woman, not your friend. Your husband is the one that is there to help you parent. And so the girl's girl thing, like it pisses me the f off. I'm a person's person. Like I'm a good, like be a good person and I'm your friend for life. Treat me like shit and we're f done and it took me so long to get there and to understand like all of this bullshit but I just like I will not engage with this if somebody had sent me this message those people would no longer be in my life and I would tell them why they are no longer allowed to be a part of my life don't shame me because I chose not to have kids and you did you made that choice with your husband to bring children into this world that is your job like Buck up and do your job or ask your husband to let you go out with your friend and do that. Like, But you do not get to blame somebody who chose not to have kids because you chose to have kids. And it just it the girl's girl thing just makes me mad because it's like, no, we're all people. We want to be equal people. So, like, let's be equal, decent human beings and not shitty people who blame other people for their problems. That's all I have to say. Candy Thunder. Oh, yeah. And there you go. She bought massages for them. Like, what else do you want from this friend? Do you want her to be your nanny? Like, come on. Like, she no. bought you a, a couple's massage so that you could have time. And I assume watched your kids during this time. Like, what? But that's not enough. Take that text message, put it in a group chat, and call out her husband's. Ooh. Because that's what I would do. And be like, you guys need to handle this. This is your kids, your problem. I am your friend. Like, I purchased these massages Was. for you. I did all of these things, and if you can't see that, speak to your husband. And that's what I would do. I would never put up with this bullshit, and I would not be friends with these people. 150%. <laughs> yeah. Don't, Screenshots don't, in a group chat would be awesome. Be like, it sounds like y'all got a lot of you problems yeah. to figure out. Uh, fortunately, <laughs> y'all are not a me problem Sorry. anymore. That was super petty, but deuces. I they all deserve it. Like. Yeah. And I, I agree. This is internalized misogyny, thinking that just because she's a woman, she was supposed to stay and help with the kids. Yeah. Apparently, uh, the I gift they were really hoping for <laughs> was a week long au pair. And well, and speak up. Like if we were child free on a vacation and two other couples had children and they wanted to go out and do something without their kids, I would have no problem saying it with the kids one night. No problem. One night. Um, if I'm child free, we I'm may not enjoy it, but we'll do it. <laughs> I would totally do that for someone because I understand what that means to someone. But to just assume that someone's going to do that with no prior like knowledge or understanding mm -hmm. of your situation is so. And then to be people silently cannot read minds. pissed when yep. they don't do it and stew yep. on that for a week after vacation. <laughs> wow. And then send a text. Like at least I'd be a decent human being and have a conversation with your mouth, not sending words that people can misconstrue and Wait, whatever. You know that message came through <laughs> after a bottle or after a box of wine, a box. <laughs> that that message came through after they were sitting together where, you know, maybe the husbands had the kids, maybe the kids were playing yeah. together or something, but they finally got through a whole box and they were like, uh, like I'm going to message that bitch right now. Yeah. Which means they're still, they were still talking about this woman behind her back. And the only reason they were talking about this woman behind her back is because she no chose not to have kids. She, they are not girls, girls, if you want to use that term. They are the opposite because they're shaming a Truth. woman for not having kids and not taking care of kids. 